Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Twitter. This is part 15 of our model driven app series. In this video, we will see how we can restrict users from altering the schema of Dataverse table. In real time, there could be a scenario where, uh, for example, you have created the structure of your model driven app. Your model driven app is having uh, various tables. Obviously, if you are using model driven app, as a backend, you have Dataverse, so your table data will store in Dataverse. Now, you have created the structure of your tables and now, for example, maybe you are giving access to a group of people who will be working on this app. Maybe they will be doing development or, or they will be entering the data. But you have to make sure that they should be able to only enter the data or do some other stuff they should not be able to alter any other thing related to the scheme of the table. For example, they should not be able to delete any column. They should not be able to enter new column or maybe they should not be able to create solution, views, forms, other things they should not be able to perform. How we can do this using security rules? Uh, this I will cover it today's video. So, so uh, let's move to Power Apps. My solution is already open in my environment. DS Tech Mirror is my environment. My solution is DS Tech Mirror demo, which I am using. I am using the same solution and the environment for the entire tutorial. So in my solution, I am having five tables, uh, my donation equipment, fundraiser contact and this user. And I am the current logged in user. So if I go to any of the table, for example, my donation table, if I go and create a new column over here, new. So you can see I can do that as I am the system admin. But if I go to the app section over here, I have shared this app with few other users as well. For example, test user 01, 02, others user. Now test user 01 over here you can see is having LG underscore custom security role. This security role I have created in my earlier videos. In another tab, I am logged in with the same solution in the same environment with test user 01. Now you can see this user is having only one security role and here I can create the column. Now I want to restrict test user 01 from creating any column in this particular solution or in this particular environment. How I can do that? For that I am in my app. Over here I have created this security role LG underscore custom. Let me go and edit the security role. So far I have covered two to three demos related to the security role and mostly we have worked with this custom entity tab. For today's uh, video we will be working with this customization tab. This is also really important. Over here you can see I have different functionalities. For example I can create canvas app. For example related to the canvas app, entity, entity means tables, entity key, entity map, fields, hierarchy rules, uh, again model driven app then in model driven app we do create system chart system form system jobs are there solutions are there so access to all these things we can control from the security role under the customization tab how we can create the security role if you are not clear I will recommend you to watch my earlier videos I have covered everything from the basics now for LG custom what I will do I will remove this field access what I will say user should not be able to create any field they should be able to read they should not be able to write and the last one is related to the delete the moment uh, I updated this field section I will click on save this is done another thing is let me show you please make sure your user should not have any other higher level security rule because otherwise that will overwrite the lower level security rule for that I will move to environment from here, I will select my environment DS Tech Mirror from the users, see all. And here I am having test user 01. And I can see test user 01 is having only one security role, LG Custom, which I have already customized. Now, I will go to this solution with the current logged in user. If I go to the same table, my donation, and just to see. And now I am the system admin. So yes, definitely I should be able to create a column. This security role, even if I assign this LG custom security role 
to this user then also i will be able to create a security rule okay before creating let me show you this as well so what i will do i will go to apps i will say share this app and with my name and i will assign this lg custom security role as well now now i have the lg custom security role as well as test user 01 both are having lg underscore custom security role now what i will do first i will refresh this page just to clear any cache fine over here what i will do now i will go to this table called my donation click on new column and let me create just one test column just to see and you can see this column already exists let me create test one two three save and i can create the column column got created if i go to this column section i can see this column test one two three if i want to see whether i can delete a column let me try and deleting this test column remove delete from this environment and it will get deleted yes it got deleted why because my system admin role overriding the lg custom rule now let's come to this user test user 01 before testing anything i will refresh my page this is the same environment same app same solution everything same a different user now over here i will go to this same table my donation and straight away over here you can see one or more commands are unavailable to you to your current privileges and you can see this even without accessing any table i can see new column got disabled for me i go to this my donation over here i can see this new click column is disabled i can create other things i can create a form view chart but not column so it's working if i go and try to delete a column let's try with this test one two three and i'll say remove now this time this is not disabled let me click on it delete from this environment let's see what will happen and at the top you can see check privilege field because i'm not having any access or i should say i'm not having a delete access i cannot delete any column so friends this is uh, i can say a very frequently used feature in real time scenario because definitely few of you would be at the architect level where you will be creating the design or layout of the projects or in another scenarios maybe a uh, few vendors are working with you and you would be asking them to enter the data or asking them to do some other kind of development where you don't want to give them access to create any column or table or delete anything so so you can very well do that with the help of security role and from under the customization tab now the in the same way you can restrict access for system chart form job solution views web resources now what is web resources i am going to cover in my uh, upcoming videos so this is how you can restrict users from altering the table schema so this was a very quick tip for you guys so let me update the same in my progress slide as well what we learned in the progress so far i will say restrict table schema these many demos i promised you that i will be covering on security roles uh, create custom security role this is done role level security column level security and security role for table schema modification so all these things i have covered just one thing is there that how we can apply the security role so this thing how we can apply security role to views forms and other components of model driven app i will show you when we will be working with in my upcoming videos with all these components then and there itself i will show you how we can apply so guys thank you for watching today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till our next video much love keep learning thank you